This is Dr. Luce, I'm a doctor of sport and performance psychology, and I'm headed to West Point right now. I just ate a great meal at Casimo's restaurant in Middletown, New York. Great place, by the way, Casimo's. There's four locations in the Hudson Valley, so if you ever get to come out this way, great place to eat. I'm headed to Woodbury Commons right now to go walk around and uh, maybe buy something and then headed over to West Point to watch Army versus Lehigh. Special game for me. Lehigh's tight ends coach and I coach together. We both coached an undefeated college football team together in 2018. So it'll be nice to see him coach. Uh, but we're going to see what Army's going to do tonight. And then tomorrow I have at least one client going to see Air Force play Merrimack tomorrow. So the truth is going to come out on really what the identity of Army and Air Force is to some extent. And I've said this in the past, if you want to know the identity of an offense, you got to get to week four. So we're going to know about 33% of that after this week. So we're going to see what Army does, we're going to see what Air Force does. But generally for an offensive identity to take form, you have to get to week four. Because once you get to week four, you know who you are. So we find out what the truth is because you work the kinks out. Generally between weeks one and two is when the greatest improvement occurs with a football team because generally you work on all the mistakes, all the personnel issues, and you, you really make the biggest jump between games one and two. And the people who make the most significant jumps are generally the ones who thrive during that football season and with their offense as well. So we're going to find out what's Army made of, what's Air Force made of. I mean, both should easily win. Air Force in particular should easily win. Now, they have 10 new starters on offense. So we're going to find out what they're made of. And Army, well, after their 2023 disaster on offense where they we're in the spread 11 of 12 games. Now we'll see what the distribution is. I was at the spring game. It was a 50-50 distribution. Hopefully it'll be a lot more under center tonight. Generally against teams where they can handle a little better physically, there'll be a little more shotgun. Last year, Army played Holy Cross and it was a war. It was a war because Army was in the shotgun. I think we'll see something like a 75-25 split by both teams. I'm hoping for even more under center, but I think both teams today and tomorrow, in the case of Air Force, will be about 75% under center and 25% gun. I think you'll see some level of experimentation trying to make things happen. Generally, it never works out. When, listen, when you're David fighting Goliath, stay out of the shotgun. Because everything happens too slow. And you need every millisecond you can get to get the ball past the line of scrimmage. That's why when you triple team, the ball has got to immediately go by the triple team. When you run midline triple option, the B back, quarterback, and A back, that ball has got to get past the line of scrimmage fast. And you can't do that in the shotgun. The trap's got to hit quick. Can't do that in the shotgun. Rock and toss has got to get out fast can't do that at the shotgun. Everything takes too long because of the snap, the ball handling, the eye discipline, everything's different. <clears throat> so that's why when you stay under center, you put yourself in the best situation where you can win. So we'll see what happens with Army and Air Force. Hopefully they're 100% under center. I think that would be very optimistic look for a 75-25 distribution, 75% under center by both teams. I'll have the full breakdown this week. Not sure if it'll be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but I'll have the full breakdown of both teams this week. Every play they ran, how many times they ran it, uh, as long as I have access to the video, which I'm scheduled to have access to the video. So that's that. Coaches, you want to win big in 2024? You're ready to make the mid-season switch to the triple option offense? Give me a call right now. I've been helping people win for 15 years. 
you bet I'm going to help you win. So, go to tripleoptionfootball.com slash testimonials where you can see all the success stories that have come from my camps, my academy. The academy is $9.97. You get it for two years. You'll be installing the triple option by tomorrow with your players. The whole method to the madness. You're not going to learn it watching 3,700 YouTube videos. There's a way to learn it that's fast. I just give you sample sizes on this YouTube channel. You want the full taste. Got to become a client. We're going to get it done right the first time. And you're going to be on your way to win big, big, big. Three, four, five plus more wins this year. All starts with calling me 570-332-0265. 570-332-0265. Talk soon.